Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the first step to learning finger picking on the guitar, which is called straight finger picking. So let's dive into that right now. Now you can do finger picking on acoustic guitar or electric guitar, but this is the easiest way to get started with finger picking. When I started years ago, I started out with learning Travis picking. which is actually pretty difficult because you're skipping strings and your fingers get mixed up, but straight finger picking is way easier to start out with in the beginning. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a chord and we're just picking straight down through that using our fingers. We're going to have a simple pattern for you for six string chords, for five string chords, and for four string chords, and then you can use this anytime you want. At the end, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite straight finger picking song that's an actual song that you'll probably know. So make sure that you stay tuned till the end to see that. So first things first, we have to label the fingers on your right hand or on your picking hand. Your thumb is labeled with a P in notation. Why? Because it has to do with the Latin name for that digit. I don't know why, if you know the name of that, uh, leave it down in the comments. You can make us all smarter. I for your index finger, M for your middle finger, which I also think that those uh, relate to their Latin name. And if you see an A, an A is your ring finger, okay? So when you're seeing finger picking stuff, not all music is going to tell you which finger to use on your picking hand, but P is your thumb, I is your index, M is your middle, and A is your ring finger. Today though, we're not worried about the ring finger. We're gonna be doing thumb, index, and middle, and that is it today. So when it comes to a six string chord, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a really simple four note pattern that repeats twice in a measure. So we're just playing eighth notes, one and two and three and four, and nice and steady rhythm. And what you're gonna do is with your thumb, you're gonna pick your sixth string, and then you're gonna skip and hit your fourth string with your thumb. And then you're gonna use your index finger to hit the third string. And then you're gonna use your middle finger to hit your second string. Now, a quick note about the technique here. My thumb is out to the side of my hand and my fingers curl up into my hand as if I'm making a fist with them when I hit the string. You don't want your fingers to be out and to the side and kind of coming up weird like this. I've seen people do that once in a while. You want that thumb out and you want those fingers coming into your hand like you're closing your fist. So for a six string chord, it's just gonna be six, four, three, two, six, four, three, two. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. That's it. Nice, simple pattern that you can repeat anytime you have a six string chord. Now for a five string chord, it's pretty much the exact same thing. What you're going to do is make a five string chord like a C chord here. And what you're gonna do is do the exact same fingering. It's thumb, thumb, index, middle still. But now we're gonna pick string number five and then four and then three and then two. So it'll be thumb, thumb, index, middle, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, thumb, thumb, index, middle, thumb, thumb, index, middle. And then once you've got that down, you can practice changing back and forth between a five string chord or a six string chord. So for example, I'm gonna take this C add nine chord. So I've got my third and fourth finger on the third fret of my first and second strings, and my first and second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and my second finger on the third fret of my fifth string, and that's my C add nine. Five, four, three, two here. And then I just changed my G by moving my first and second finger over, and that's six, four, three, two. Now for a four string chord, we're still gonna use the same fingering. It's still thumb, thumb, index, middle. But instead of five, four, three, two, or six, four, three, two, we're gonna do your fourth string, your third string, your second string, and your first string. So you have to shift a little bit of your hand position to make sure that your fingers are hitting the right strings here. So if you take like a D chord, you're gonna have four, three, two, one. And then you change to a five string chord then do a six string chord. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds cool, right? And this actually gets used in real music. Now, my favorite straight finger picking song, this is a little weird coming from me, but it's When You Say Nothing at All by Alison Krauss. I've taught students this song tons of times, and it's really simple because the whole song is a D chord. It's actually a D sus two, so you make a D chord and then lift up on your second finger and play that first string open. And then you have an A sus4 chord, which is leaving that third finger from your D chord in the same spot. And then you make an A chord with your second fret on your third and fourth strings. And then you make a G chord with that third finger still in the same spot. And then you go back to that A. Now when you get fancy, you can do a hammer on on that second A chord that you play where you hammer on to that third fret on the second string. But you put that together and you get this. And that makes up the whole song. It's only those three chords. So that is a great song for you to practice. So what you need to do is first you need to practice those simple patterns for six string chords, five string chords, and four string chords. Get comfortable with those, and then use a very simple chord progression like G, C, and D, or D, A, G, and just practice changing between those, and do it slow, and then do it fast. But the things to watch out for are making sure that you're using the correct fingers, thumb, thumb, index, middle, that your thumb, your thumb really kind of hinges back here at the base of your thumb, right? You're not doing this with your thumb, you're doing this kind of motion and you're using the side of your thumb. And so your thumb comes out to the side of your hand like this, and then when you're plucking with your fingers, they come into your hand like this. So you get thumb, thumb, index, middle, thumb, thumb, index, middle, thumb, thumb, index, middle, thumb, thumb, index, middle. Watch out for that technique and make sure that you're doing that right. That's the biggest thing. So you might have to just do it with open strings and glue your eyes to your right hand, which is hard to do because a lot of people don't like to watch their right hand or their picking hand. So glue your eyes to your picking hand to make sure that you're doing that technique right. Practice some very simple, simple chord progressions with it. Focus on getting your changes nice and smooth. And then When You Say Nothing At All is a great song for you to go learn. If you'd like a full tutorial on that song, let me know down in the comments and we can go through that in another video. Since finger picking is a rhythm guitar technique, this is great to practice during the rhythm guitar time of your practice schedule. So if you need help with a practice schedule, open up a new tab, go to simpleguitar.com slash practice schedule, and there you can download my free practice schedule templates for you to use. And I just did a video on these, so you can watch that video for how to use that. But this gives you something to work on during the rhythm guitar section of your practice. Now, if you want a great song that is also finger picking, but is actually slightly easier than straight finger picking because you're just using your thumb and your first finger, go check out this video on how to play Blackbird by the Beatles. That is a great iconic finger picking song and I walk you through the whole thing. It's not as hard as it sounds. So go check out that video on how to play Blackbird and I will see you over there.